I don't think there was any net maker that ever lived that could come no way near him uh, with what he could do with netting. Buffalo was fluid as he was working all these nets solid. You know, you can imagine, you know, he was, it was just like he was, in his mind, he was listening to, to a song that he was playing that he may have danced to in Yugoslavia. It, it, people used to come in there just to watch work. The trawl net, it was different than the same. You know, it was made like a funnel. And you had, had to have two doors to spread it. But these nets that the trawl makers was making at that time, uh, they made a net that was so skimpy that when you get enough weight in there, sometimes the whole net would split open and you lose your whole catch. Well, he got to figuring a way of making a better net that would hold the weight of the shrimp and the bycatch and everything that you caught in those nets. So what he did, he made him one, and he goes out there and fish with his fellow shrimpers, and he beat the hell out of all of them, and that net did bust or didn't uh, did break open. So, and he kept doing it, it was consistent. He'd done it for a couple of years, you know, shrimping with his he fellow people. So, first thing, you know, the fishermen got enough of that, net. and uh, they said, you know, enough's enough. Let's all get together and go see Captain Golden Mike. There must have been a hundred, it looked like to me. And they came to my house and they have a, had a big party on the side of my family home there with all these fishermen. And they demanded that he go in business and if he did, they would patronize him and buy all their trawls and get all the trawls patched from him. So he took, took their word. And that's how the trawl, trawl shop started. He was, he was a, a, a perfectionist person. It had, every mash had to be exactly right or he cut the whole damn thing off and made us cut it off when, when, when he was running the place. If he'd come through there and look where you was hanging in that especially, that's very particular. He said, ah, no good, no good. Take everything off, I want you to do it right. No customer going to get glove and net made cuckoo like this. <laughs>